but they treated me in a special way. And I felt like a caged bird. A caged bird that just could not get out of the cage. I felt that there was something better for me. And some of you all have felt that way, probably. That I could do better, that I could achieve more. So finally, in the sixth grade, a counselor came, a young man came up to me, a new teacher in my school, and said, you can do better. And he helped me get out of special ed. And once he got me out of there, I never turned back. Why am I telling you these things? I believe with all my heart that we have to make sure that we do everything in our power to understand that the same forces that were at play in that movie Selma, the same forces that had such a tremendous impact on my parents, the same forces that were hanging around in slavery, sadly, sadly, we have come to a point where some of those forces are still around. Let me, let me, let me break it down. One of the most painful things, I told you my parents left the South for four reasons. Education, economics, health care, criminal justice system, and another one, voting rights. Those are the same battles that are being fought today. And you may not see it, you may not understand it. But let's look at voting, because that is, is crucial. There's a deliberate effort to keep African Americans, Hispanics, students, people who live in trailer parks, and in some cases, elderly, from voting. And it is a deliberate effort. 22 states have now created laws, or promulgated laws, to make sure that it is more difficult to vote in a democracy. 